we will all offer the prayer of meditation father of blessings father who makes us new in christ by this dawn's help may we may there be a new start may we be forgiven of the wrongs in our past those dirty filthy sins and disease may it end with me may it not go down to my family and my children today may we only receive blessings and may we receive all the blessings that jehovah has prepared may we realize act completely and be righteous and to pass blessings down to our descendants whatever happens we believe your promise that you want to give us blessings may we realize and repent properly to become righteous so that our desires are fulfilled in Jesus' name we thank you and bless amen let's say together sheep so God has prepared blessings for us and then he helps us at dawn so that we can take it if he just said take it we couldn't but he helps us so because you don't receive those blessings you doubt oh will it work but it only works in Christ Proverbs chapter 19 verse 16 let's find it so many people so they say the word is living and working it's almighty God but then they doubt about whether they'll receive blessings because they don't have faith but it happens exactly so God now he'll make us realize let's read together he who keeps the commandment keeps his soul but he who is careless of conduct will die amen so what does it say from dawn that we're going to die well that's God he says if you do well if you go the right way then you'll live if you go the wrong way you'll die so words that are pleasing to hear that's all heresy they're sermons with demons they those sermons kill people luke chapter 6 verse 26 so if someone who keeps the commandment keeps his soul so these actions if you don't live with this heart of loving others someone who doesn't keep these actions then they will die someone who's careless of conduct will die in other words you'll be ruined three and four generations won't do well so this is what god has written so why are we looking today at this word about the commandment well the blessings that are prepared in front of you the reason why you can't take them is because you do not keep the commandment so you say you love your neighbor but then why is it with your siblings in your household your spouse why is it that you're not right so if you're loving your neighbor why is it that your family's not doing well so you're all lying in other words because you can't love yourself so if your spouse relationship isn't good are you loving yourself or hating yourself you're hating yourself ephesians chapter 5 verse 28 so if you your spouse relationship is bad then you're killing yourself that's not a man that's worse than a beast a beast you know at least they don't meet each other but they don't hate so why does god say psalms chapter 49 verse 20 that we're beasts that are perishing because they don't hate each other if they just look at each other and you know they may growl in order to not get their food stolen but they don't revenge if they had to seek revenge then they'd have to make build walls they'd have to prepare something but beasts don't do that but men because we're not even as good as a beast that's what we do so if you have a bad spouse relationship if you realize the word you realize that person's not even a man they're they're worse than a dog and that's why ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 18 it says you need to realize what's different between you and the dog that you're raising at home so there are people here whose spouse relationship is bad no matter how much they try it doesn't work well of course how can you how can you how can you um you know you say i can't stand that person i can't live with them well well until you get rid of that demon inside of you there is no way that you can you, that you can so you see these fakes who say they believe in jesus they're like oh everyone is like that but already they're, they're the fruits of going to hell 
already your actions, you're someone who's going to hell. You don't have love. You don't love your neighbor. You don't keep the commandment. So this is why you don't do well. You have to keep the commandment to keep your soul. You have to keep your soul to go to heaven. So God says, someone who keeps the commandment keeps their soul. So if you don't keep your soul, and that's why God says, if you make denominations, 100% you'll go to hell. What is a denomination? They don't love others. Mark chapter 12, verse 30. According to God's commandment, they do not love their neighbor. They're saying just us. So 100%, that's a gathering that will go to hell. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 14. That's what God's saying. And yet, people think, that denominations are normal, that they'll go to hell, uh, heaven. But they don't understand because they're beasts that are perishing. And they're mistaken in thinking that's a church. No, it's not a church. Where your soul is saved, that's a church, starting from me. So someone who keeps the commandment keeps their soul. Keeping the commandment is someone who gives up their heart and their life to God. Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. You have to give up your life. First, you have to give up your heart. But if, because our hearts are dirty, God doesn't accept it. Matthew chapter 15, verse 19, you have to wash the sins out of your heart with the blood of Christ for God to accept it. It's when you offer up your heart, that's when you can also offer your life. If you don't even offer your heart and then your actions, you say, oh, I'm offering up my life. That's, that's your lying. So you say amen. But because you're not doing this, that's why you can't take the blessings in front of you. There are unlimited blessings in front of you, but you cannot take them. So if you don't even love yourself, how can you love someone else? When you're eating up your own children, how can you love others? No, you don't. So if you argue, even those who hear, well, are they're, all, they're all ruined. Why is it that the hearers are ruined too? Because they're the same. John chapter 8, verse 47. Unless you're the same, you won't hear it. So you look at the fakes. They they can't hear. They can't stay here and hear. They, they, they depart. Even, even during the prayer of meditation, already they've departed. So if you go to a fake church, you see if they'll tell you to wash your sins with the blood of Christ. How can you go to hell, heaven Sorry, if, if you let your sins remain? If you have sin, you have demons inside of you. If you have demons inside of you, how can you serve the Lord? 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. It's all a lie. So you have to keep the commandment to keep your soul. If you, if you don't do this, then you'll die. So you've heard what keeping the commandment is. Let's find Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Why is it that your diseases aren't being healed? Someone... Someone whose diseases aren't being healed, it's because they have enemies within their family. You say, oh, I don't, but your parents did. So because you have your what the parents' enmity remaining inside of you, that's why your disease can't be healed. You see someone with cancer who's not being healed. If you listen, they're like, my father were enemies with my uncle's family. They all have that. So they're enemies. But in the world, it seems like there's one side that's, that's you know, received the injustice. They're like, I've received the injustice. Why is it that I have to repent? Well, your, your ancestors, they, they harmed others first. So they were the perpetrators before. Now you're the victim. It's come, it's come back to you. So if you repent of this, then your disease will be healed. Your problem will be solved. Your, your business will be blessed. Your children will do well. This dawn, let's receive this. Let's receive help. We all have to receive help. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. Let's read it. And he said, If you will give earnest heed to the voice of Jehovah your God and do what is right in his sight and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians. For I, Jehovah, am your healer. Amen. So when you repent a lot, yesterday, the fornication that comes from our hearts and our flesh, we have to repent, we have to confess. You know, don't be, don't have bad things happen because you say, oh, I don't have that. Why is it that you're not being released? Because you don't confess that you have this sin of fornication. We have to confess it comes from our heart and our flesh. When we didn't repent, how much did we commit the sin of fornication? Even as we're repenting, how much does it come out? But when we, 
But in our past, everything was fornication. Oh, if you went over someone's house. Why? To commit the sin of fornication. You went over to someone's house because of the sin of fornication. If males and females, they gather, you know, to meet. It's because of the sin of fornication. That's why you meet and meet. Oh, let's gather. Why? For the sin of fornication. So that's our past. All we did was the sin of fornication. Even now. So you have to confess this. Then you'll be forgiven without a past. But then there are still things that aren't being released. Why? Because what your parents did in the past, you know, you don't confess. Why? Because you don't know. So because you say you don't know, so for example, let's say you've got a contract with your business, but that person says, oh, I'm not going to do it. They'll say, oh, my father told me not to. So he brings in his ancestors so it doesn't work. That means you're not repenting of your ancestors' sins, but you can't realize this. If you realize, then you're a man of honor, but you can't realize. And you're like, I'm trying to sell this, but, but you know, he's not, he's not doing it. So these problems happen, and yet you cannot realize. So because all you're doing is repenting of your own, God's saying, your eyes are still darkened. You can't take it. What is it to keep the commandment? It's to love your neighbor. So it's when you truly love yourself that you can love others. 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 22. So here God's talking about disease, healing your disease. 3 John verse 2. If you want your disease healed, when your spirit does well, when you're able to go to heaven, when you keep the commandment, when you're righteous, that's when your spirit does well so you can go to heaven. If you keep the commandment, you keep your soul so you go to heaven. Someone who doesn't keep the commandment and they talk about, oh, your spirit doing well, everything doing well, that's dog talk. If you don't love your neighbor and you're slandering them, how can, how can your spirit be doing well? Keeping the commandment is to love yourself. And that means your spouse relationship is one because you love yourself. You love your spouse. If you can't stand your husband or your wife, then already you have demons inside of you. In the world, if you look at novels or movies or dramas, it's all about the, the spouse having a problem, having some other woman or having some other man. That means you don't love your spouse. So even with demons, that comes out. So if you have a bad spouse relationship, it means one person is already ha- is already committing the sin of fornication. They have demons, so they can't love. So commandment, keeping the commandment is to love myself. It's to love God. That's when you can love others. That's loving yourself. Because you completely love yourself, you you can love your spouse, you can love your brothers, you can love your neighbors. So keeping the commandment is to keep your soul so you go to heaven. So 3 John verse 2, if you keep the spirit and you can go, if you, if your spirit does well and you go to heaven, then everything does well. So why is it everything doesn't do well? So you say you have this friend and you, you made a contract. But he says, oh, it's my parents that are, are blocking this. Well, that means you're, what you haven't repented of your ancestors' sins. He's making you hear that through your friend's parents, blocking. So instead of repenting, you say, you curse and you say, gosh, he's bad. So God's teaching you, but you end up cursing the Lord. So this is why you don't do well. This is why you can't take the blessings in front of you. Have you realized properly? So when you do something and you say something's not working out, it's because of that. It's what you and your ancestors have done. So if your parents did it, then you have to repent of your parents' sins. You're like, so if someone's like, oh, they're about to do it, but they change their mind so easily, that's you. That's for you to repent of. If they talk about their family, then you have to repent of your family sins. If they talk about their aunt, ancestors then you have to repent of your parents sins but because you don't know how to repent of this this is why your problems are being solved so your your spirit doing well means everything does well when you go to heaven so when you're able to go to heaven that's when you also have health in your in your body so if we've come this door we have to make this help mine so as we've lived uh, everything i do Even though 
you know, I've settled everything with this person, but that person changes their mind. That's me. I'm, I've always lived like that. So if you fix this, if you repent, straight away you'll do well. So yesterday, after we pre- repented of the sin of fornication, as we lived, so there are, there are a lot of people who will, who will have experienced that God blocked the sin of fornication. Without you realizing, you kept winning against it. You kept, av- you kept being able to avoid it. So if you repent properly in the morning, God makes you avoid it. It's the same with everything else. So the blessings in front of you, you can't see them because your eyes are darkened. It's because of sin that your eyes are darkened. Matthew chapter 13 from verse 14. So if you just repent of that sin, then your eyes are open so you can take the blessings. So God says, it doesn't just end with you receiving blessings. You go to heaven, everything does well, you have health, your children do well. So at this dawn, let's all receive this. We have to receive these blessings. We have to receive these blessings. How precious is this promise? So those who have received realizations, they're clapping so loudly. The people who don't know what's going on, they, they're just mimicking. But still you can do well. If you keep doing this, you'll receive realizations. So in verse 26, what does it say? And he said, If you will give earnest heed to the voice of Jehovah your God, So, if you hear God's word, or whether you hear or not God's word, it depends on who you belong to. John chapter 8 verse 47. So, if you hate to hear God's word, if you can't eat eat God's word, then that's a problem. But if you hear God's word, then you will live and do what is right in his sight. So, it's not according to my standard. Oh, I've loved God. I'm hearing God's word. No, it has to be how God sees you in his sight and do what is right in his sight, in God's sight, you have to be righteous. That means you've changed who you belong to and you can hear God's voice. Romans chapter 6, verse 16. So people talk about the Bible, but how do you become righteous? It's by four-step repentance, the blood of Christ. So if you don't do four-step repentance and you hear God's word, then in his sight, you're not listening to him. So here it's telling you. So you may read the Bible, you may hear it, but you're a fake. Because if you're evil, you'll go to hell. The righteous, it's only by the blood of Christ, by forced at repentance, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. So in his sight, in his standard, you have to do what is right. You have to be righteous. You have to have your sins forgiven and give ear to his commandments. So after you change who you belong to, then you have to love yourself and you have to love your neighbor. So that's keeping his his commandments. But if you have disease, if you have cancer, if your business doesn't do well, then you're not keeping the commandment. You don't love your neighbor, starting from your spouse, starting from your family, your, your brothers. So you're told to love, but then you go and love evil people and you become evil. That's not love. So God, He's so God and Jesus are eternally righteous. Only that is true love. So you have to become righteous to have love. There's nothing but four step repentance. So with this love, let's love our neighbor. Then everything will do well. This is so precious. So something's not working out. What problem? should you repent of? If your parents are hindering, then you have to repent of your parents' sin. If it's that person that's repenting, uh, so if that person's hindering, so Jesus Christ, faith, the Holy Spirit, God are all eternal. So if your heart is this way and that, then you're not Christ. So to, to not change, because my heart, because my heart keeps changing this way and that, that's why the other person's like that. So that's what you have to realize and repent. So if something's not doing well, so that's what you have to repent of as mine. So Philippians chapter 2, verse 4, you have to say what others things are mine. That's when you receive blessings. So you shouldn't. So that why would you need to criticize or hate others? That person's suffering to teach you your sins. So how can there be any enemy? There's nothing but thanksgiving. So God's word says, 
giving thanks in all things, that is God's will, to enforce that repentance. So we just have to live with this and receive blessings. May we all receive these blessings. So it says, give ear to his commandments and keep it and keep all his statutes if you change your actions when do your actions change when your conscience is revived he, Hebrews chapter 9 verse 14 to 15 so if you revive the three consciences inside of you then your actions change so if you live with your actions changed then you won't die you'll live that was Proverbs chapter 19 verse 16 so if you keep the commandment you keep your soul and if you And if you keep these statutes, your actions, then you won't die and you'll, you'll go to heaven and everything will do well and your health will be healed and your children will do well. That's being a patriot. That's saving all of mankind. At this dawn, let's all receive this. Amen. So from today, it will happen. Oh, it's, uh, it's not working for me. Well, If God changes you, it's God who does it, not me. So it will happen. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. So if you keep all this, then all the diseases, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians. So if you're not doing this, that's when your ancestors' cancer and headache and stomach ache all comes out. All sorts of things come to you because you have done these things. So if it's your parents or if it's the children, if you are informants to others, then he makes it so that you can't use your legs. So the parents have done that. And so that's what happens to the children. And then it happens to the parents too. But first, it goes to the children. But he hits the child that the parents are interested in most. That's how the parents, that's how the parents realize. If, if there's someone that they can't stand in the family, they die, then the parents will be like, oh, you know, we're happy about that. But it's, it's the one that's most obedient that he hits. So if the child is, is smart and is obedient, then in the world they say they die quickly. The evil, if you're not inside of Christ, if you pretend to be good, then you die quickly. And that's why those who are smart, they, they die early. Oh, if only he had lived. He was such a genius. You know, our family would have done so well. But those people, they die quickly. Not just that. Oh, that, oh, you know, that child was so obedient. That's the one that dies quickly. Does that mean if you're smart or if you're, if you're good, then you'll die quickly? No, if you're double-minded, if you're evil but you pretend not to, that's when God kills you quickly. So the one that's smart, the one that seems so good, they're filled with evil. And yet, and so if they want to live, we have to do forced repentance. So we all have to receive these blessings. So he says, I'll put none of the diseases on you. Is this amen? So if you can't have your disease healed, you have to do according to this word, then everything will be released. So whether it be cancer or... If you look at those people, if you go shopping and... Always, these elderly people rebuke you, then you have to realize t h e r e s sin or t h e r e s sin with elder people. Or if it's, or if it's young kids that, are all, that you always have a problem with, that means there's a sin that you've committed with kids that you, hasn't been released. So, there's someone who, everywhere they go, they're always fighting with someone in their 20s. Or there's someone who's always fighting with kindergarten kids. Or, you know, there's people, they're always fighting with university students. That means there's something connected. There's some sin that you have to repent of. So, if you repent of that, you'll live. So, all, so none of the diseases I'll put on you. For I, Jehovah... I'm your healer. So to meet God, you can only meet him with the, blood, with the mystery of Christ. So whatever problem is there being solved, it's because you're not righteous. You still haven't changed who you belong to. So you have to change who you belong to and then hear God's word. And so you have to keep the commandment. 
Keeping the commandment is to love yourself and your neighbor. So with love, you become one. You know, does your right hand and your left hand fight as you sleep? No, there's no one like that. Even this flesh, the, which is like a beast, the, the right hand and the left hand don't fight. So how in one family can the spouses be fighting? In other words, you're not keeping the commandment. If you don't keep the commandment, then you don't give up your heart and your life to love God. Because you don't do this, that's why your spouse relationship, you can't love each other and you can't love your neighbor and you can't even love your children. And so then you separate, saying, this is my denomination, your denomination. And that's why Korea, you know, we have 400 denominations in the world. There's like 900. So if your spirit does well, If you keep the commandment, if you keep your soul and you go to heaven, then everything will do well. If everything does well, then you'll also have health and your descendants will do well. Is this Amen? So, Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. <coughs> Excuse me, you have to stick it up on the wall <coughs> and then you'll live. So, first of all, So, whatever happens, you have to do four-step repentance. Have I become righteous? That's what you have to discern. Have I kept the commandment? I can't do it. So, do I love God or not? As much as you love God, your diseases are healed. As much as you love God, you receive material blessings. So, why is it I can't take the blessings in front of me? Because I don't keep the commandment. Someone who doesn't keep the commandment, whatever you ask them to do, they always make excuses. They don't have love. They don't have obedience. So whatever they do, they make excuses. That person, Proverbs chapter 26, verse 13. If you tell them to go east, they're like, oh, if you go east, that's where the sun rises. So if you make excuses and you have demons inside of you, Jude chapter 1, verse 16 to 19. So then you tell them the opposite, go to the west. They're like, oh, that's where the sun sets. So, if they have excuses this way, then they'll have excuses that way. Proverbs chapter 26, verse 13. So, if you meditate on a lot of the, the word, then you realize that person has disasters. They're a demon. They do that. If you tell them to go right, all they have to do is say amen. But they're like, oh, oh the sun sets there and, and they say this and that. Everything is excuses. So if you say, okay, fine, then do the opposite. Then they're like, oh. So that's what the Bible is talking about, these excuses. So am I giving thanks or do I have excuses? So let's see what kind of person I am. So I'm looking at myself. I do that so much. But if you wash it, it disappears. It's not that this dish doesn't get dirty, but as long as you wash it, then it's fine. So, this storm, let's only receive my blessings. You know, don't look at others. You'll have an accident. As you're driving, why look at others? Then soon you'll hear, you know, crash. And, and the screen's broken and your nose is broken. So why do we live like this? Why do we have these difficulties? So let's have our diseases healed. Let's have everything do well. Let's go to heaven. Let's have our child. Let's make our children do well. Let's let's be patriot. Let's all receive this blessing. Let's all pray. Lord, we thank you so much. You've given us this precious word, completely by your grace, by the blood of Christ. If we do four step repentance, we become righteous. Everything happens by grace, by grace. But because we don't obey the word, even now we have problems. Oh, wherever I go, always that person and me, we have such a bad relationship. Who is that person? Is it a male or a female? Oh, always I have a bad relationship with my son. Then you have a problem with males. Oh, I always have problems with my daughter. Then you have problems with, with females. Oh, I always have a problem with these five-year-olds. Then you have a problem with, with young kids. Oh, I always have problems with, with, this, with university students or elderly people. It's all showing me what to repent of. Help us to realize correctly. May we realize, may we act completely be righteous so that everything does well, so that we have our children do well, we have health. May this blessing be mine. 
Let's take all the blessings in front of us. May we all become blessed saints. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. <laughs>